guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. <laughs> um, what you're gonna need is a curling iron. I use the Baby Bliss Pro, and this is the one and a quarter inch barrel. Um, this is what it looks like, if you're wondering. <laughs> But also you're gonna need some hairspray and if you're looking for like a good hairspray recommendation um, I use the Paul Mitchell soft style super clean light and this is what it looks like and the reason why I recommend this hairspray is because some hairsprays have like that like heavy like sticky feeling to it and this doesn't like it keeps your curls like in place and it doesn't give you that sticky kind of feeling that makes your hair like gross so I definitely recommend this one I think you, you can buy it off of Amazon also you're gonna need like clips or something to section off your hair with but yeah that's pretty much all you need so first you want to make sure that your hair is clean like make sure you wash it before and let it dry um you can blow dry it or air dry it right now I let mine air dry I washed it this morning and it's all nice and dry but yeah, first you're going to section off your hair, like however you like wear your hair, like if you usually part it down the center, that's what you want to do. Like I usually have mine like not directly down the center, but like this is good for me. So I'm just going to divide it into two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like, well first I'm going to put this part up. And I'm just gonna clip it into place so that it doesn't get in the way. Oops. <laughs> and now with this side, I'm gonna divide it into half by like using my fingers. And I'm gonna tie the top part back so it doesn't get in the way. You can do more sections if you want, it makes it like easier when you're curling your hair if you have more sections, but usually top and bottom is fine. And then I just clip it. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take your hairspray and spray the section that you're doing. And you're doing this because it helps um, eliminate the frizz when you're curling your hair if you spray hairspray in it first and then curl it. You also don't wanna put a lot, just like a little bit. <laughs> And then just run your fingers through it a little bit. And if you feel like any sections don't have, just like spray a little bit more. So now you're just gonna wanna take a small piece, a small section. And put the bottom piece into the clamp. Um, also, you wanna make sure you're curling away from your face when you're doing the front at least and then making sure that I don't know if you can see this that you go you don't go over the clamp because then you get like clamp creases in your hair you have to go behind so you have to make sure that however you put your hair in it's going when you curl it it's going um behind the clamp and not onto the clamp and now you just curl it up this piece is kind of coming out, so I'm just going to take that out for now. And then just curl. Until you get to the top. And you want to make sure there's like tension at the top. So that everything curls properly and falls properly when you take the curl out. And then now you just hold for like 20 seconds. Um, you can test it out if after 20 seconds you don't get um, like a tight curl or it didn't curl properly, then maybe you need to hold it longer or if you can increase like the heat setting on your curling iron. And now you just slowly release the clamp. And there you have your first curl. 
if there's anything you don't like, you can always fix it after. You kind of just want to get like the curls in there and then you can um, make it curlier if you need to. Or like make it less curly if you want it less curly. But now I'm just going to do the front part because this part was coming out when I was doing the other curl. Hopefully it's enough. Might not actually hold because it's so little. So I might have to hold it with my hand to make sure it doesn't come out. And honestly that should be good enough because it's not a lot of hair so I don't need to hold it as long. And yeah, that part is curled. All the Everything can be fixed like after so that it looks like it's all together and not like separate curls. So now you're just going to grab another small piece of hair. And you, once again, you're going to put the end of it in your curling iron, the clamp. And you're curling away from your face and you want to make sure you're going behind the clamp and not over it because you will get um, clamp creases. So just curl it to the top. This section might have been a little bit too big, but that's okay. Now you just hold for 20 seconds. Okay, I think 20 seconds has probably gone by. So now, once again, you're gonna slowly release your hair from the clamp. And you have your next curl. So at this point, you can either if you want to add more like volume to your hair or more like variation, you can um, change the direction of the curl so you don't have to do it away from your face anymore. You can do the opposite way. But if you also just want to continue in one direction, you can do that as well. Usually I just do it all in one direction, but it's up to you. You can try it out. <laughs> Either way works really well. I've seen people do both. so. I just prefer to do it in one direction. So now I'm just gonna grab another piece of hair and I'm gonna repeat the same steps and I'm gonna keep doing this until this entire bottom left, my left section is completed. So I'm probably just gonna fast forward at this point. But yeah, hopefully you get the drift, but if not, I'm gonna show you again when I reach the next section. Okay, so I finished this section. Um, so this is what it looks like so far with like the bottom curls. Do you see how they like all go in the same, like they spiral the same way? and they kind of group together like this. If that's the effect you're going for, then do it all in the same direction. But if you want them to kind of go like opposite ways, then alternate between like, yeah, just alternate directions. Um, so now I'm just gonna take out the top piece. I'll put this back behind. And I'm gonna take out the top piece so that I can curl this side. So what you're going to do now is once again spray this section that you're doing now with some hairspray. And then run your fingers through it so that it's distributed evenly. And also if there are any parts that didn't get, just spray some more. So what I recommend doing now is um, starting from the back and then moving your way forward. So just take a small section once again and put the bottom piece of your hair in your curling iron and curl in whichever direction you want. I'm going away from my face for all of them. Um, and make sure you're going behind the clamp but not over the clamp once again so you don't get those annoying um, clamp marks in your hair. 
hard to see what I'm doing when I'm filming on my phone. Um, I think I'm gonna, hold on. Make this section even smaller. And yeah, that's way better. And then just curl it and hold it for 20 seconds. So it's legit the same procedure over and over again. If you haven't gotten it by now, that's completely fine. It takes some time to like learn how to do it, especially when it comes to like knowing how to hold the curling iron um, so that your hair doesn't get like the clamp marks on it. And now just release slowly. And we have that curl and you can just toss it behind and move on to another section and then once again insert your hair at the bottom i'm curling away from my face so i want to make sure i'm going this way not over the clamp i'm just going to curl it up and then once again hold for 20 seconds okay that should be long enough and then just let go again and put this behind and we're just gonna continue like redoing the same steps with little pieces um of hair until we get to the front Okay, so when you get to like the front pieces, when you have like two, three pieces to do again, um, for the front pieces, you want to make sure that you're going away from your face because when it comes to the front, it looks really odd if you go like the opposite way. And this is for people who are doing like, who are alternating their curls in the back. You don't want to alternate in the front because it does look kind of strange when you get to the front of your face if the curl goes this way <laughs> instead of the other way. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out just to yeah, just to warn you. <laughs> but other than that, um, the procedure, once again, is just the same. I don't know why, but hair is like all red. <laughs> kind of odd, but. For the front piece, I would recommend holding it longer just to make sure that um, you get like a really tight curl in the front. Cause when people see you, they see like the front curls more than the back curls. So make sure you do like the front curls the best. That's what I would recommend doing. Okay, so this is what the left side looks like and now you're just gonna put some more hairspray so that the curls don't come out while you're doing the right side or whatever side you're doing. <laughs> and just brush your fingers through the top of it to get rid of any frizz that you might have. Be careful with the curls, you don't want to brush your fingers through those. And then just spray some hairspray onto it. So yeah, this is what the left side looks like. Um, if there are any parts like in between that I didn't curl properly that you want to fix, I recommend fixing that after when you're like done with your hair, just look through it and then if there are like any flat parts then just go back in and recurl it but right now we're just going to move on to the next side you're going to take your hair out and what i recommend doing is dividing it into two once again top and bottom so now once again you're going to put some hairspray in this section of hair to eliminate frizz and just run your fingers through it and now you're just going to repeat the um, procedure again. Um, I'll go over it one more time because it can kind of take like a lot to like understand at first like if you're a beginner so I feel like the more times I like explain it the better. So once again we're gonna take a small section of hair and you want to when you when it comes to the front you want to make sure you're curling away from your face so I'm going to put this section of hair in. Also, you want to make sure you're, when you're curling it, you're not going over the clamp. You're going behind the clamp. So since we're curling this way, like, 
like this. We want to make sure we're curling behind the clamp and not over the clamp, if that makes sense. So now we're just going to curl it and then hold it for 20 seconds. Because I'm doing the front, I'm probably going to hold it a little bit longer. And also, like, I recommend taking smaller sections at the front. Like, I know sometimes you can get, like, well, I can get lazy and I take, like, big, like, chunks of hair instead of, like, small sections to do it. But when you do that, the heat doesn't really, like, get to all the hair, so it doesn't curl as well. And you really want to make sure the front is curled the best because that's what people see. The back, the middle pieces, not so much. So yeah, I definitely recommend taking your time when it comes to the front pieces. That should be long enough. And now we're just going to slowly remove it from the clamp. And there you have your curl. Okay. So now you're just going to repeat the same steps until you get to the end of this section. You definitely want to make sure that before you curl, you're curling it the right way. Because it's really annoying when you have like clamp creases in your hair and it really doesn't look good. So yeah, I highly recommend like when you put your hair in, just like think about which way you're curling it and then see if you're curling over the clamp or behind the clamp. And if you're curling over the clamp, you have to readjust your curling iron, like your hair in the curling iron. Okay, and slowly take your hair out of the clamp. And now I'm just going to keep repeating these steps until I get to the end of this section. So once again, I'm probably going to fast forward the video. Okay, so this section is done. So now I'm just going to do this top piece and then that'll be it. And then just spray it so that the girls stay in place. You can see that this side is less curly now than this side because I just did this side. So you can just run your fingers through it to loosen the curls. Okay, and yeah, this is the end product. This is how I curl my hair. Um, let me turn off my curling iron before I forget. But if there are any pieces like in between that are kind of flat, especially in the back, you can just go in and redo it um, using the same steps you did do the rest of the curls. I'm not gonna do it right now because I am running out of time. But yes, yeah, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Put it in the comments down below. I don't know if I explained myself well. If I didn't, if something was unclear, just let me know and I'll try my best to explain yeah, what I did. But other than that, um, this is how I curl my hair. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I helped you learn how to curl your hair. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you like this video. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!